So, kettle cooked chips. Chips, in my opinion, are the ultimate snack for any given moment. They are the go-to snack for many people, including myself. For those that know me, know that I'm not much of a sweet person. I'm more of a salty and savory guy. The chips I made here are flavored of chili and lime. And let me tell you, these things came out with the perfect crunch. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and start making them. You're going to start out by getting some potatoes. You can use Reset or Yukon Gold. I like using these right here. And we're going to start peeling these. So just go ahead and start peeling them. You can leave the skin on. Just make sure you wash them thoroughly. But I don't like leaving the skin on, so I peel them. So now that you're done peeling your potatoes, make sure you give them a thorough wash. We don't want any dirt on these. And now we're going to use a mandolin to cut them. We're going to put it on the second dial to give it that nice thickness. But if you don't have a mandolin, you can just go ahead and use a knife. It's just going to take a little bit longer. And if you are using the mandolin, please be careful. There's been many cases where people just slice off part of their finger and it is not something good. So please be careful when using a mandolin. So go ahead and just start cutting. look at how perfect the mandolin cuts those potatoes right so this is the thickness you want right you could get these with the knife as well but like I said a mandolin works perfect so now that you're done actually cutting your potatoes what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw these in a bowl of water and we're gonna clean these until the water is clear so now go ahead and throw them all into your water you want to make sure they're covered in water or your potatoes will turn brown and we don't really want that color and just go in there with your hands to make sure you rinse off all that starch. And what this is gonna allow us to do is actually, when we're frying these, is actually fry them before they actually start burning to get that perfect crispiness. So now that you rinse your potatoes until the water is clear just like this, we're gonna let these sit in here and meanwhile we prepare our spice. So for our seasonings, I got in here one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one fourth teaspoon of cumin, half a tablespoon of some salt, an entire tablespoon of this chili lime seasoning, and I got this from my local Target. And now go ahead and just mix all that up together. Now that you've prepped your spices, you're going to rinse your potatoes. So now a quick potato chip fact. The inventor of the potato chip is named George Crumb. He invented the potato in 1853, and his method of cooking the potato chip was washing the potatoes until most of the starch was gone. After that, he boiled them in water with a splash of vinegar for four minutes. Once that was done, he then fried them and that's how the potato chip was made. So now we're also going to follow his method of doing the potato chip. So now once you've brought your water to a boil, you're gonna go in there with just a splash of vinegar. Now go ahead and go in there with your potatoes. Now that you got your potatoes in there, all you're going to do is boil them for four minutes. Once those four minutes are up, you're gonna take them out and you're going to dry them. So now that you're done boiling them, you're gonna do is layer them on a paper towel to drain excess water because you don't want any water when we put these to fry. And make sure you pat these dry with a paper towel because if these have water, when you put them to fry, it will start fizzing. So now that you got these dried to the best of your ability, what I like to do is I like grabbing my spider and I like putting them in there as much as I can, and that way I'm able just to drop them with the spider into the oil. Make sure you heat up your oil to medium high and just go ahead and drop your potatoes in there. And don't worry about them actually sticking together because they actually won't. And you're gonna fry this up for a couple of minutes and there's not really an exact time, so just eyeball it. Once they have a color just like this, they are done. And what I like to do is I lay your paper towel on my bowl to drain excess oil from the potatoes. So once they immediately come out the oil, go ahead and hit them with a slight bit of salt. Toss in there some of that spicing we made. And now go ahead and toss those babies up. Now just go ahead and transfer them into a, a bowl or whatever you want. Oops, some of mine fell. And there you have it. You have now made your own kettle cooked chips, right? So let's go for that bite. And when I tell you these things are crunchy, they are crunchy. Just listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. I know you can't see my face, but just listen. Oh my God. These things are amazing. You have to try this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.